The World Health Organization estimates that 30 million people are in need of prosthetics, yet the majority of people have little means to receive them. Despite the fact that there are many prostheses on the market, they remain prohibitively expensive for most people. High-quality prostheses cost nearly $30,000 to $60,000, and the cheaper ones are simple cosmetic prostheses or ones with limited functionality. In 2017, Ukrainian entrepreneur Dmitro Gazda decided to solve this problem for those who need hand prostheses. He and his partners created a startup called Esper Bionics that develops technology-savvy and cheaper prostheses along with a software platform and a phone application. Gazda is a medical doctor by education. During his internship, he met a Ukrainian woman who lost her arm. Ten years later, he found out through Facebook that her prosthesis was of bad quality. This sparked an idea for Gazda to create a much more effective and more affordable prosthetic. If a person isn't familiar with myoelectric technology, Esper Bionics prosthesis production seems like magic. The prosthesis consists of two main sections, the hand, which is made by the startup, and a socket, which is made by individual clinics for each person. The prosthetic set, which the startup will send to the clinics, will include not only the robotic hand, but muscle sensors, a battery, and a quick-release wrist unit for the socket. The patient's brain sends signals to the body's muscles, which in turn initiate the prosthesis to act accordingly. Then, muscle sensors installed on the stump socket transmit them to the prosthesis. The prosthesis has six standard grips, but a user can customize the grips and increase the amount of grips through saving the setting on the phone application. According to Gazda, after 10 prostheses are installed, the startup will start to connect them to a cloud platform. The robotic hand will collect data, send it to the platform, and the platform will update the algorithms for the prosthesis to work better. For example, the user constantly takes a cup from one angle with the same acceleration. And when this action is constantly repeated, the system assumes that he takes the cup and helps him choose a grip, Gazda explains. After a while, the prosthesis will be easier to operate because it will already know what a user wants to do in advance. Currently, Esper Bionics installed the prosthesis for one volunteer and plans to make more soon. The startup has an application form on its website for volunteers who want to participate in the beta testing. The startup says that it mainly targets the U.S. market and is already negotiating with some clinics. It forecasts that its second largest market will be the European Union. However, Esprobionics will work with Ukrainian clinics as well and already promises special deals for Ukrainians. In Ukraine, the price of the prosthesis will be around $6,000. In comparison, the startup is currently negotiating with U.S. clinics for the price to be closer to $16,000 to $18,000. Esper Bionics estimates that this prosthesis will be significantly cheaper than the standard price and plans to enter the international market by early 2022 at the latest. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you really enjoyed this video, then make sure to give this video a like and watch this awesome video next.